Hi there, and welcome to Sloyd. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the web app that we have for generating 3D really fast and really uh, easy. So let's get right into it. So you open the app and click the big old plus icon and you get started. Um, you get access to a bunch of different templates, generators as we call them, uh, where you can customize 3D assets. So uh, we can just start out by selecting this uh, cool and nice uh, UFO. And typically you'll have a bunch of buttons and different uh, types of parts that you can select uh, from. And then you have the sliders. So uh, you typically have the standard stuff like height and width. And sometimes you have like curve. In this case, you can also control like the height of the curve uh, to get, you know, different types of shapes of the, of the UFO in this case. Then you can turn off and on different parts uh, as you choose and, and also customize those. Um, inside, you'll also find like uh, toggles for, um, for those uh, parts as well. Um, yeah, so there's typically a bunch of uh, options here uh, in the details and on the more like general shape. So yeah, uh, sometimes, sometimes you'll also find like sliders inside that will yeah, add or uh, remove um, things or change things uh, fundamentally as well. So there's a bunch of things, but the thing I like to do the most is probably just use the randomizer and just click this a few times and uh, kind of get a starting point from that uh, and see like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So, and then you can kind of go, maybe I, you don't like this uh, type of tapered dome, but you, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll just basically go for that. Um, and then you can also go into the materials and you know, go for something completely different in terms of the colors and materials. Maybe you go for, yeah, the the Barbie um, look there or something uh, kind of like this. So yeah, you'll see the outline as, you'll, uh, as you're changing it. So just to maybe be sure that, you know, maybe deselect and, and have a look at uh, how it looks without the outline uh, as well. But uh, yeah, when you're done and you're happy with the results, you click it, you can cl click uh, export and you can choose between OBJ and GLB. With GLB, you do get the materials uh, included, so beware of that, and you'll also get the submeshes with the material indexes. So with the OBJ, you only get the object. So yeah, with that, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this intro to Sloyd and that you learned something. Hope you enjoy Sloyd, and if you do, then let us know. We would love to hear from you. So thanks, and see you soon.